Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see how to draw the pie chart in Excel. So in the previous session, we have seen the column chart. So we'll take the same example. So that means the percentage range and the number of students who secured in that particular range. And now I will take the same thing and let us draw the pie chart. So first let me initialize this one. So take the same same I have taken the same example and the same count so now we need to insert the pie chart so select the table and go to the insert and go to the pie chart so here you can observe the pie chart okay so pie chart is nothing but a chart type to show the proportions of a whole and use it when the total of your numbers is 100 percent if you want to divide uh, the percentage in terms of percentage if you want to represent the analysis in terms of percentage then you can go with this pie chart so select this pie chart so that you will get uh, three options one is a 2d pie 3d pie and donut and go with the 2d pie first so this is the 2d pie you can observe here so this is a circular representation the pie chart is nothing but a circular representation so uh, categorizing divisions there will be a division for each and every category there will be a division in each and every category so for better understanding i will just change this uh, a zero with a five and also this one with uh, some four okay so the representation will be like this right so you can observe here the colors each category will be having a different color and the category color is represented here so which color is with, with which percentage and if you select this one similar to our column chart you can also have this plus so you can add the data labels so you can observe here so data labels you can uh, get the data the data is visible here and you can also select the data labels where to display so there is a small arrow mark you just go to the click on that arrow mark you will get a center so that all the data labels will be in a centered and inside end outside end best fit so this is a best fit and a data callout you can observe if you go with the data callout you can observe the range is also displayed here so the range and the percentage in terms of percentage so if you go with the remaining things it, only the count was displayed you can observe so the green color the green color uh, is a less than 50 so here you can observe so just i will select this here. so less than 50 less than 50 is only two students only the count of a students was displayed right and if you just go through this uh, mouse pointer to there you will get the percentage as a, in a tooltip you can observe here see seven percent if you go here it will be a 17 percent so if you go with the call out data call out there you can observe the count is not available but in terms of percentage it was displaying okay the range of students the range of percentage and the uh, uh, percentage of students who secured in between 50 and 60 who secured less than 50 who secured greater than 90 so this is one way to represent the data labels and also you can uh, go with the more options so to give the data labels here you can see series name series name you can observe it was changing a slight change is there right a slight change is there count so the count is uh, less than uh, i mean count is who, who got less than 7 50 is a 7 percent and the category name it was there so you can observe here so if you deselect this category name the percentage range is also disappeared right so and then a value you can get the value so not only the in the percentage you can get the value so you can observe here less than 52 students are there in terms of percentage that is 7 percent so value can be displayed or percentage can be removed you can select or remove the percentage okay legend key so the color so the legend is nothing but this representation color representation so that was displayed here so if you deselect it one so it will be like this right so like this we can apply the a different options different options for the data labels right and see second one is a color styles so there are different styles we can represent so this is a pattern distribution pattern uh, patterns different pattern fill and this is one style to represent the uh, percentage i mean the pie chart so you can observe here this is one one way of representation this is one way of representation so there are different styles we can represent okay so you can select any one among these things 
and the colors you can also select the colors the colorful different colors giving uh, uh, different colors for each and every category so if you go with the monochromatic so same color will be given for all the categories but slight brightness is difference based upon the percentage you can observe here 17 percent is having one brightness and 24 percent is having one brightness and 24 percent is having one brightness and 14 percent is having somewhat light brightness so like this there will be a lot of the same color will be represented in different brightness features right based upon the percentage so we can also select the color and the style here and this is the this is the 2d pie chart this is the 2d pie chart and if you select this one and go to the insert and select the pie chart so you can go with the 3d pie chart so this is the 3d pie chart you can observe here so the same thing can be applied for 3d pie chart also for 3d pie chart also you can do the same thing so i will show you the same same will be appeared the three options one is the uh, addition of data label so you can add the data label so that it will be added and where we have to add that we can select by using this arrow mark so go to the tag call out call out so that it will uh, given like this and also you can select the colors different styles okay different styles to represent the 3d pie chart okay and also color we can also select the color monochromatic or colorful whatever it may be so you can select any any one of the color right so this is about the 3d pie chart and there is a one more uh, pie chart is there that is a donut donut representation so select this one go to the insert select the pie chart and go to the donut so you can observe here it is a donut representation so here there is a categories each category is represented in each color and similar to our previous pie charts that means 2d and 3d here also we can select the data label so that they will be displayed here and we can select that uh, where we have to display so we can select the thing so data color means like this it will it will appear like this and also colors different colors different styles can be appeared in this donut representation also right so this is how we can imp implement the pie chart so as a whole that means as a whole if we if it, if we want to uh, analyze the data in terms of percentage then we can go with this pie chart so it's a circular representation and each and every category will be divided and it will be represented in different colors okay so we can represent the data in terms of values or in terms of percentages right so hope you understood this pie chart so if you are having any doubts in this pie chart so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section uh, definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.